Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. We did a very successful trimming of the collection. Um, whew, I'm worn out because uh, Monday, yesterday, this is Tuesday. I'm recording this Tuesday, April 16, 2019. Yesterday, Monday was tax day. And I owed money, so I wait until five minutes before midnight to press that button to send the money. And this year, it was double what I usually paid. So it was a tough to have tax day on Monday. Ugh. Anyway, thank you for all of those who gave well wishes for the trimming and those who purchased something. I really appreciate it. I got good news yesterday. Um, I'm getting four new Spydacos coming in the mail later this week. Um, there actually are going to be three pair of threes. I have no pair of threes in my collection, but I knew more pair of threes were on their way. Three pair of threes and one additional knife. So uh, you'll take a look at those. We'll do it over three days. Um, as soon as I get them, I'll do the new ones. So let's talk about what I'm carrying today. By the way, I hope you guys did well on a Monday. You survived Monday because it's Tuesday. I don't know when you're watching this. You might be watching this way in the future, but, um, and I hope you survived tax day. It's, I kept mumbling to myself as I was doing, <laughs> getting ready to send my taxes. It's just my one year lease on being in the freest, best country in the world. Um, so that's my take, but I'm still pissed. <laughs> I like my apartment, but I hate paying rent. <laughs> anyway, uh, enough of all that. Let's talk about what we have. This is my tag watch. You know, I love the tag. The tag was my first watch. The tag was the first watch. I had another tag. It was my first watch that I gave my son. Um, it, it's, it's to me, and it's great. The reason, I know it's crazy what goes through my head. I bet what, it's crazy what goes through your head every day. But I was thinking, man, I just survived a hell of a weekend and Monday. <laughs> this is my go-to. That, that signals in my mind, at least, I'm ready to go for anything. Hold on. And surviving a Monday like that, where they take <laughs> a lot of your world, your your hard-earned money, um, I'm gonna smoke a great cigar, and this is it's the Hoyo de Monterey Epicure Deluxe. Ah, oh, oh, that's why you get great Cuban cigars. This is a pricey one, but man, it's worth it. I'm just celebrating life and I'm ce celebrating Tuesday. How about that? <laughs> My Shone Design pin. Uh, today, I'm carrying the brass one. I love how this is weathered. Just a real nice ink pen. Shone Design. Let's see, what else we have here? Oh, man. The blue scotch. The blue scotch. The blue scotch. <sighs> Smooth. And, yeah, I'm celebrating. It's not... The special day is I'm standing up. <laughs> My uh, thin uh, Mont Blanc wallet. And... This coin, another U.S. Mint commemorative, this is for breast cancer awareness. Breast cancer awareness. Actually, I would have loved the butterfly as the main image on the front. But a uh, wonderful cause and really a wonderful um, coin as well. I have both. This is the proof coin. Remember, a proof coin has that shiny 
background. You see that? How it shines. Um, the regular coins don't. They're all like a dull kind of uh, silver. But I always carry a one ounce silver coin for good luck. I do it because my grandfather always carried one dollar silver coins, American silver coins. That's when silver coins were silver. <laughs> Cherish the thought. Um, but I just loved it as a kid. Those big silver dollars. It was always special when we had silver dollars. You could buy so much. I know. I am a grandfather of five boys. So, <laughs> but, but lately, I've been saying things that sound like a grandfather. But I just loved, it was penny candy. You know, um, I don't know about your corner store. My corner store, you could go down there and you open up a jar and they'd have those pretzel sticks, the thick pretzel sticks. Those were two cents. I remember when they went to five cents. But you'd buy Mary Jane's and the, the little candy coins. And then when you really get special, you know, you'd buy those candy necklaces. <laughs> you'd, you'd get the, the, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much, but you get those wax lips. <laughs> Man, those are the good old days. Now I bet you a pretzel costs, you know, you can only get them in a package for a $1.20 or something. But um, anyway, enough of that about the coin. I do collect coins, silver coins. I love it. This is, if you notice all of the trimmings, and you can go back and look at the videos, I don't trim these little knives. I love little knives. I love keychain knives. This is part of that Sprint Run series. The Spydeco released this year, the V2 Ku 2, V T O K U 2. Um, this is the ladybug version of it 1.9 inch blade 1.7 inches of that steel is edge i love it for the keychain part of it um i only carry a silver loop with three keys on it i really love it full flat ground again that super upgraded steel v toku 2 4.4 inches total, that's it, with a very strong back lock. Has jimping going up to the hole, you see that? A oh, real nice. This little spidey hole, easy to open, even with fat hands like mine. Only six, uh, point six ounces, only 0.6 ounces. And of course, all of them have blue-gray FRN scales. FRN is fiberglass reinforced nylon scales. I call it super plastic. Yes, it's nylon. It has nylon in it. Yada, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fiberglass reinforced nylon, but it's really durable and light. The drunken. You know, it's anticipation is a funny thing. Um, everyone was waiting for this first Spydeco Dmitry Sinkovich collaboration. Everyone, I was, finally got it. And I'll tell you, when I'm when a knife is so highly anticipated by me, I'm speaking about me, I'm always disappointed when I pick it up in my hands. The only time since collecting knives, and as you guys know, I have, man, I haven't counted lately with the trimming but I have hundreds of knives. Um, it's just your mind playing with you. The only times I was not disappointed was my first set of knives because I didn't know, I had no expectations. The Spydeco Value Series, the original Value Series of knives that I bought over a two month period, I just loved it. First time with the Spydeco, I loved it. My first Chris Reeve knife, I just, it felt like anything and everything. My first knife that I spent $100, over $100 for, yes, Chris Reeves was way over $100, but before I bought that, 
It was the original Spydeco Techno. Fell in love with it. Just fell in love. This knife, the Spydeco Drunken, I had such a high, 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 such a high expectation that I'll be honest, when I opened it up, I appreciated the look and feel that you get from a Sinkovich. I wasn't blown away. As I've had this, I'm blown away. I really like it. I think one thing too, carrying a heavy knife in your pocket is a pain in the butt. But when you take it out of a box and you hold it, the heft of it, sometimes I just, and it, it may just be me again, I just go, oh, I love the feel of this knife. I just love it. This is super light. And I think the fact that it's super light when you initially pick it up, you go, eh, it's an expensive knife. Why? But now I just love it. I'm carrying this today with the ladybug. Um, S90 V steel on this. It's a 3.4 inch blade. It has a bit of a belly to it, which is nice for cutting. You know, nice for an EDC knife. It really is nice drop point blade, eight inches total, 3.1 ounces. So you have S90V, but man, it's this handle. Uh, I know there's scales, okay? I call a handle the entire thing that you wrap your hand around, okay? Which is made up of scales. First of all, I love the blue accents, the blue right there on the pivot is wonderful i love the blue on the customized uh pen. Is the, yeah uh, gray grayish blue on the clip it is great carbon fiber 3d has that pattern which is the drunken pattern i don't know if i can show you it here as much but on the back has that same drunken pattern. That's why it's called the drunken on the titanium, which is gray. I love this blue and gray. I really do. Backspacer, which turns into a lanyard hole right there, which I think is a real nice design. It's only right hand tip up only. Right hand tip up only. The uh, Chris Reeve Intercool frame lock with the... Uh, silver insert now for some stupid reason i've been talking about oh they built in a bracket inside and people have come to me and said kevin no it's just skeletonized and i'd go no i thought i read that well i was absolutely 100 percent wrong because someone took this thing apart and i saw it, and you guys are absolutely correct i don't know Sometimes I read the same thing and my mind's playing different. So you are correct. Those of you who have pointed it out, someone was real nice to and said, hey, have you seen this YouTube video? You should check it out. They just took it apart. You are absolutely correct. But I love the skeletonization of it. I think because when you see that, I think in my mind, usually you see skeleton, you know, skeletonized, but it doesn't look like that bracket. You guys can't see that in there, can you? So they did a great job because great materials feel wonderful in the hand and it's light. So I have really fallen in love with the Drunken. Of course, oh, by the way, the Drunken's only 3.1 ounces. This big knife, 3.1 ounces. They did a great job. Of course, one of my favorite automatic out the fronts, by far, by far. I almost, did I put it in? I don't even remember, but this is one of my favorites. I had another UTX 85 from Microtech and I trimmed it, I think in my first trimming. And the first thing I did was go and buy another one. <laughs> I love this knife. It has the best action in and out. Uh, of any of my Microtech double action out the fronts. 
I love, I had a combo blade, drop point blade the first time. I love this dagger blade. Sharp on both edges, black blade. It's just nice and nasty. Aluminum body, of course, with the trigger. The um, clips for Microtech out the front, nothing really to write home about, but man, they work. Of course, the glass breaker in the back. This one has Bowler M390 steel. I like Bowler M390. My other one had L Max, which I liked, but I love this Bowler M390 steel. 3.1 inches. The blades, I mean the edge, actually the edges are 2.9 inch. The total length is 7.5 inches and only weighs 3.1 ounces. This is, if you're allowed to carry an automatic or to own it, this is a real nice knife. Just, I think it's just that much smaller than the Ultratech, which for me makes it just that much more of a uh, EDC out the front. I just love it. And of course it's tactical, especially with the two sharp edges. But I'm not going to carry that. I'm carrying my drunken. And that, my friends, is the pocket dump deconstruction. Four new knives coming from Spyderco sometime this week. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling good now. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. I hope you guys are feeling well as too. Hey, take a few minutes. Take an hour. Take more hours away from social media. I need to set aside a day to do that. <laughs> I preach it. I need to do it every day. Um, and just, I, I guess I was afraid of just being alone with my thoughts this past week or two. But do that. You have to face it. And uh, trust me, every time I do it, I just feel healthier. I feel ready to communicate. You guys have to do that. Men don't do it. And nowadays, everyone will call you selfish especially if you're in a relationship living with someone else or whatever, but you need that. All right. And, uh, there's so much social media. I love movies and YouTube and all of that, but you got to click it off. I feel so much better. I wish I was so focused on work and stuff. I wish I would have spent the time. I, I know I would have been a better husband, father, brother, son, friend. Do that for me, okay? You guys have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Have a good one. Bye.